Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. This is Alfred. In today's video, we will try to experiment with um, counting frequency signal with your Arduino. So on this picture, I have a, some sort of simulator or some sort of uh, function generator and I have it hooked up to the Arduino. So this is essentially um, the sketch. Um, so, so to say, so when you are making your connection, go ahead and put your signal to pin number eight and take your ground to the Arduino ground. And that's all you need to do. This is our sketch. Um, my function generator looks different um, from what the picture is, but if you have a function generator, if you have a different kind of signal generator um, that you could monitor, with your Arduino, go ahead and hook it up like this. Make sense? All right, now let's jump right into the code. Okay, so um, I think I think I should show you this. So this link, so I am using a library. So I am using a frequency count library. Uh, I'm not using a frequency. I'm using, so if you go to this link right here, go down to frequency measure library. So according to this library, if you are using Arduino Uno, you must connect to pin number eight. Very important. If not, you will not see your signal. So you need to use um, pin number eight. And in this, you could see some of the examples that I used, and um, it will tell you everything that you need to know. A very important thing. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the example that we have here. So I'm using the baud rate. So this is kind of like I'm setting up the frequency measure, and uh, I am. This is essentially my 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 variable for the frequency, and. Uh, so what they are doing here, they are trying to gather enough sample to mathematically calculate the frequency that you are seeing. So let me pull this back up. So if you look at this instruction here, they should have they mentioned, you know what, let's go, go back here. So if you look at over here, you will see that frequency counter is best for 1K to eight megahertz signal. Then frequency me frequency measure, freq measure is best for 0.1 hertz to one K hertz. So this frequency measure is perfect for what we are doing because we are only going to be focused on one hertz to one K hertz. So this falls right, right where we will be measuring. So if you're measuring higher um, frequency, you might want to use frequency count. Um, so let's go back to our code. So this is essentially why we, since we are at a lower, free, relatively low frequency, um, so we need to gather as much samples as we could before we can make a good um, frequency calculation. So and over here we are doing a serial print, just printing out the frequency in hertz and printing out the actual frequency. So that sounds good enough. So now let's go ahead and upload it. Now we are done with uploading it. So, and one K hertz. So if I press the button one, it will go to our one hertz. One hertz takes a lot, a lot of time to um, calculate because again, it, it's, it's trying to get as many samples as it could to to be able to give us a good uh, frequency calculation so uh, right here i'll be expecting it would take at least uh, 30 seconds you know at least 30 seconds so right there it, it got one point so we are going to wait again to get um another another point but with this um right now right now the application is telling us that we are at uh, 1.5 8 hertz which is not too far off i mean right now i know that i am generating one hertz so we are off by 0.58 so
So now we are a lot more accurate because it has um, gathered enough samples and it has spent enough time on the one hot signal to get a good guess, a good measurement of it. So let's go ahead and wait for it to get one more sample, then we'll move on to the 10 hertz signal. The, the 10 hertz signal will be a lot faster. One more, here we go. So yeah, that's one hertz. So let's go ahead and push the button. I just did. So now we should be getting closer to 10 hertz signal. So right now we are 9.885. So now it's, it's pretty much stable right now. So we are, we are 10, uh, give or take 10 hertz signal. So we are off by a, a little bit, but not too much. I mean, I mean, this is Arduino we're talking about. And, um, and uh, a 10 hertz signal is giving us 9.85. So that's, that's quite close if you ask me. So let me go ahead and push the button again for 100 hertz signal. So now this is our 100 hertz signal. So we are a little bit off about 1.7. Um, holds off so not too bad so let me go ahead and push the button one more time for the 1k signal so this is our 1k signal so yeah that's um, what I wanted to show you guys today I um, hope this was useful and um, let me know if you have any questions on the comment below don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you later